Oh, yeah.
ನಮಃ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪಾದಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪೃಷ್ಠಾಯ ಉತ್ತನೇ ಶಿವರ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವಿರಂಥ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಿಧಿ ನಮಿನೇ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸರಸ್ವಾತೇ ಗೌರವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾಶ್ರೀಕರಿಣೇ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ನರಾರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಿ ಗೌರವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಜಯ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಜಯ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಚಂದ್ರ ಜಯ ಗೌರವಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಜಯ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಜಯ ದೈತ ಚಂದ್ರ ಜಯ ಗೌರವಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಜಯ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಜಯ ದ್ವೈತ ಚಂದ್ರ ಜಯ ಗೌರವಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ So we will read from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Adi Leela chapter 4 the internal reasons for the appearance of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu verses 15 and 16 <coughs> Translation purport by His Divine Grace, Isi Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Okay, so this is Bengali. It looks like Sanskrit verse, but it's not. We have two Bengali verses together, and we will chant them with the same melody as the one we bought. Parama Karuna Rashika 
And he wanted to propagate devotional service in the world on the platform of spontaneous attraction. Thus he is known as supremely jubilant and as the most merciful of all. Purport, during the period of Lord Krishna's appearance, the killing of Asuras or non-believers such as Kamsa and Jarasandha was done by Vishnu who was within the person of Sri Krishna. <coughs> По времето, когато Бог Кришна се появил, убиването на демоните, на асурите и невярващите, такива като Камса и Джара Санда, било извършено от Вишно, който бил вътре в личността на Шри Кришна. Such apparent killing by Lord Sri Krishna took place as a matter of course and was an incidental activity for him. But the real purpose of Lord Krishna's appearance was to stage a dramatic performance of his transcendental pastimes at Rajabhumi, thus exhibiting the highest limit of transcendental mellow in the exchanges of reciprocal love between the living entity and the Supreme Lord. <coughs> По този начин, проявявайки най-висшата степен на трансцентални вкусове и взаимоотношения на любов между живите същества и върховния Бог. These reciprocal exchanges of mellows are called raga bhakti or devotional service to the Lord in transcendental rapture. Ecstasy. 
Lord Sri Krishna wants to make known to all the conditioned souls that he is more attracted by Raga Bhakti than Vidhi Bhakti or devotional service under scheduled regulations. Бог Шри Кришна не искал да се знае от всички обословени души, че той е по-привлечен от Рага Бхакти, отколкото от Вайди Бхакти, предълно служене под, под правилата и разписанията. И предписанията. It is said in the Vedas, Taitiriya Upanishad 2.7, Raso Vai Saha. The absolute truth is the reservoir for all kinds of reciprocal exchanges of loving sentiments. He is also causelessly merciful and he wants to bestow upon us this privilege of Raga Bhakti. Thus he appeared by his own internal energy. He was not forced to appear by any extraneous force. <laughs> so let us see. The um the uh, beginning, the summary of this chapter. So, as we heard last week, there were two external reasons for Lord Chaitanya's appearance. So the, yeah, the first reason was to propagate the chanting of the Holy Name and spread love of God. The second reason was to answer the call of Advaita Acharya. And now we will hear um, in the, this next chapter, fourth chapter, three internal reasons. Um, these two external reasons are also called secondary purposes. And these three internal reasons are called primary purposes. So now we will hear the summary of this chapter and it is a little esoteric and um, um, confidential and little technical so you have to really focus each sentence. <coughs> has a lot of meaning, we'll, we'll speak a little bit about it as far as possible. So, because, yes, Lord Chaitanya is Krishna himself. There's no difference, as we have heard uh, in, in the beginning, before these two chapters, uh, three and four, in the second chapter is called Lord Chaitanya, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So he comes 
Krishna comes in this very special form. Because he doesn't come with a flute and as the Supreme Lord in his original uh, blackish color. So he comes in a golden form. And it, as it is explained, this is the color of Srimati Radharani. So he does this, the first purpose is explained, was to relish the position of Srimati Radharani. Because she is the prime reciprocator of transcendental love of Krishna. Lord Krishna is the reservoir of transcendental loving transactions with Srimati Radharani. Бог Кришна е резервуара на трансценденталната любовни взаимоотношения с Шримати Радарани. The subject of those loving transactions is the Lord Himself and Radarani is the object. И така, субекта на тези любовни взаимоотношения е Бог, Бог, самия Бог Кришна. Thus, the subject, the Lord, wanted to relish the loving mellow in the position of the object, Radharani. So, clear? Everybody has understood this? Yes? So, how do you explain this? In other words, not the same words. <laughs> that means that you have not understood it. But, well, some, something, I'm not saying you have not, but it's not easy. I, even I have to really think about it. Uh, I've heard it many times. <laughs> so now you have a chance. <laughs> you have heard it many times. Причината, единствената причина за любовта на Кришна е това е Шимати Радарани. Тя е обекта. Обекта, който е. А Кришна сказа, че е субекта, т.е. той, който се наследава на Шимати Радарани. Кришна е субекта, т.е. той, който се наследава на That's the question. That's, that's, the, that's the first internal reason for coming of Lord Chaitanya, is to do what? 
Това е първата вътрешна причина на Бог Читание е какво да направи. Why does you because it's Krishna? Krishna is coming in that form. What for? Why doesn't he come as Krishna? Той идва в тази форма. Защо не идва като Кришна? Той приема настроението на Шимати и а тя е от Кришна. И той иска да даде това на And uh, because uh, she is more merciful than Krishna. No, that has nothing to do with it. <laughs> 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 it's true, but it has nothing. That's another thing. That's another. We're talking about the first reason. <laughs> I, I give you a hint. We are talking about subject and object. <laughs> Yes, so, and therefore, the subject cannot be the object unless you become, you become the object, right? That's the whole point. Krishna cannot understand, in transcendental um, terms, he cannot understand, like, you know, How, how does she feel, actually? <laughs> like in a, any relationship, is a, you know, we talk about two and two, one and two persons. And whether it's friends or lovers or parent and child, whatever the relationship, there's two persons. Yeah. Most of us have some experience having a female counterpart, right? <laughs> we, are, we are not on the other side. We are, you know. Anyway, we have. This is it. This is coming from the. Uh, this is the original relationship, female, male, female. And we call it love. We have some, well, affection. We, we like this person. And we have our own reasons for that. <laughs> right. People have different reasons depending on their level of consciousness. On the very, very lowest level, you just like because it's an object that gives you pleasure. Especially on the sexual part. <laughs> yes, because it's different and it's just perfect for you to enjoy. And you probably like the appearance generally. Sometimes, no, on the lowest level, it doesn't matter. You just want to have sex. It doesn't matter how, how she looks like. <laughs> That's the lowest level. Uh, But it's an appreciation because, you know, it's a form that gives pleasure. Yes. So, I mean, I'll speak about this like this because then we understand, you know, the psychology behind it. So, in, in the lowest level, they will say, I heard this somebody say, at night, all cats are gray. <laughs> right? You don't care. Black cat, white cat, the tiger type of cat. <laughs> At night they're all gray, but they are cats. 
Дали е зелена котката или сива, тук имам и оранжева котка, но нощно време всички са сиви. Um, anyway, so let's uh, forget about that. It's too gross. <laughs> you like the the person be, because of the way she speaks or smiles or treats you. Uh, it's more on a subtle level, you know. It's, I mean, you like it, and therefore it's love. I love her. I love him. Love him. Of course. Изглежда, усмихва се, говори или така нататък. И, и затова ти казваш, аз го обичам или аз я обичам. И хората имат такива песни, харесвам начина по който тя се движи, по който се усмихва. So you know how you feel. You love that person. And if it's a good relationship, she will also love you. But you don't really know why. And how, how is that? Но ти наистина не знаеш защо и какво е точно това, което изпитва. I mean, you may think, yes, I'm strong, I'm actually very, I'm good looking and this and that, so many other things, but there's more and you don't really, you can't really understand that because it's the, the other person is an individual person, it's different from you. И ти може да си шоу, аз съм много силен, много здрав и също много красив. А, но всъщност има неща, които няма как да разбереш, защото това е личност, която е различна от теб. So in this case, because this, this is the supreme couple. В а, този тук, в тук в случая говорим за върховната двойка. And it's supremely perfect in all respects. It doesn't have the defects we find in the material world. И те са в, от най-висока степен съвършени. Не могат да се намерят там грешките, които са в този свят. And Sri Krishna is the supreme attractive, as we know. It's his name, Krishna. И самия Кришна, той е най-привличащият. And he is the, това е значението на думата Кришна. The fountain, the reservoir of all loving feelings. Now, Srimati Radharani loves Krishna and he wants to know how is this when I love myself in one sense. So, as it is, this, the subject has to take the position of the object to relish that relationship, obviously. I mean, to, to give another gross example, <coughs> we need this. You cannot kiss yourself. It's very difficult. <laughs> Right? Uh, you can try it with a, with a mirror, but it doesn't really work. <laughs> you have heard of Greek mythology, Narcissus, Narcissus, the person who is also very beautiful and he sees his reflection in, in the water and he falls in love with himself. Имаме такъв гръцки философ нарцис. Нарцис, възможно. Не знам. Когато е един нарцис, един е наистина и се любва на себе си, което не е приятелно в материалния свят. Този човек, който е много красив, видял от женици в Рикарда и се влюбил от себе си. И започнал да обича себе си. 
Но не е същото, защото хората в материалния свят това не го оценят много. But it's not possible to really love yourself as you would another person. So Krishna is in the same position. He wants to know how is it if I love myself, but he can't do this. <laughs> so therefore it says here, the subject, the Lord, wanted to relish the loving mellow, what is this feeling, in the position of the object. И затова тук се казва, че върховния Бог, субекта, иска да вземе позицията, за да разбере какви са тези чувства и той взема позицията на обект. So therefore he doesn't come as Krishna, but he comes as Krishna who is covered actually by the sentiment and by the external, practically external appearance of Shrimati Radharani. <coughs> и затова той не се появява като Кришна, а се появява а, като Кришна покрит с а, такива чувствата, Clear, no? I think. I hope. Okay, so second reason is to understand the transcendental mellow of himself. Secondary reason. Second reason. Not, sec- not secondary. Втората причина на неговото появяване е да разбере трансценталните вкусове, трансценталния вкус, който той притежава. Okay, so you got the right word in any language actually for mellow, which is a difficult word, in the, even in English. Uh, имате ли точната дума uh, в, uh, за мело? What is your word for it? We don't have exactly. So what do you say? I, I say taste. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, so what is the Sanskrit word of mellow? Rasa. Rasa. And rasa means, actually it means juice. Rasa, what is the mellow in English? Sanskrit word so even in English, mellow is generally it's and when a fruit is ripe and it becomes a little soft. And you normally you can especially a mango. When it's hard, still hard, and you squeeze and it's hard, it's not it's not good for eating yet. The peach also is like this, huh? Many fruits, actually. Um, unless they have a hard shell, like a, you know, a melon, not exactly. And the watermelon also, not. you cannot squeeze. Maybe I have to do something else, yeah? <laughs> do the, the, the echo test. <laughs> За не всички така плодове можеш да пробваш, но динята с стискане не може да разбереш да реагира на сладка. За нея трябва да потупаш, за да направиш еко, 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 еко. So mellow means this. It's like really when the fruit is in most tasty condition. It's juicy and soft and it's not, but it's not on, over, over the top. When it's over the top, it's still okay, but it doesn't taste as good. You know this. Everybody knows this from experience. So this mellow, uh, of course you can find it as this example gives in some object. It's um, physical, let's say. The taste, the juice. But then also on the psychological level, it also exists, of course. Generally, we just express it that I like it. You 
You can take anything, you know, like music, let's say. So every day everybody hears music everywhere in the world, all the time. So then, then it, the mellow also has, what, and the material world has to do with the three modes of material nature. <coughs> of food, let's, let's continue with food, you know. Well, we wanted to go to music videos more subtle. It's not like, you know, eating. Or drink. Yeah. So there's different tastes. Huh? <laughs> Obviously. You have very sweet music and you have very heavy, not even just heavy, heavy metal. It's, metal is the hardest you can find. No, not even, well, rock is stone. But heavy, <laughs> heavy metal is really hard metal, not soft metal. It's the hard. And you can have black metal even. Anyway, so you get the idea. And the, heavy metal is so there's a specific taste in that. Many people like it and many people don't like it at all. <laughs> so therefore the, the Romans, they were very clever. They said, Gustibus non disputandum est. You don't fight about tastes. You, you like this? Okay. I like that. Okay. Don't tell me this is not good. I don't tell you this is not good. It's my taste. I like it. За различни вкусове не трябва да се боричкаме. На мен ми харесва едно, на тип ти харесва друго. But there is of course a quality because of the three modes of material nature. Но разбира се, има качество, в зависимост от трите гони на материалната природа. So we have music in <coughs> ignorance, in passion and in goodness. Имаме музика в невежество, в страст и в добро. And transcendental. <laughs> yes, and it, and it, as it is, Krishna is. What is actually appreciated most is something sweet. People will fight over this also. Though. I don't like. Many people will say, I don't like sweet. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they don't like sweet. I like salty. And very salty. <laughs> and hot, especially Indians, you know. <laughs> hot and salty, not sweet, you know. I have people who don't like sweet. I like sweet. And it's not just sweet, but it's very sweet. And it's not just sweet, but it's very sweet. And it's also Indians like sweet and very sweet. You go to a bar and offer somebody hot milk with honey. They will say, look at you and say, let's like almost an insult. <laughs> <laughs> He'll offer you whiskey or vodka. Yeah? <laughs> And you may say, well, this is an insult. <laughs> But different tastes. So, um, so there is a transcendental mellow in Krishna's loving dealings. 
And it is described as sweet in Chaitanya Chaitamrita. And the sweetness is compared to the basic is uh, juice from sugar cane. And then if you start to take out the water by boiling, then you get molasses. It's the intensity of the sweetness. You can measure it with some whatever, like they do with alcohol. You know, it becomes more uh, condensed. But it's still... And molasses is still liquid, but thicker, you know, like juice, you pour and it goes like this. Molasses you pour, it goes slowly because there's less water. And then you take out more water, you get gore. It's no more liquid. You can't pour it. <laughs> And the sweetness is more condensed, of course. Sweetness is more sweet. So, so Krishna's relationships with the devotees are compared like that. And the transcendental mellow in relationship to Srimati Radharani is the most sweet. So Krishna is all sweetness, but the sweetness is appreciated according to the relationship you establish. So that's what it Yeah, that's what it says. Lord Krishna is all sweetness. And Radharani's attraction for Krishna is sublime. <coughs> and to experience that attraction and understand the transcendental sweetness of himself, he accepted the mentality of Radharani. Hare Krishna. Hello, Shama Sundara. How are you today? Are you sweet? <laughs> yeah. You are sweet, but talking sweet, sweetly. Anyway, so, um, yeah, this is, I think, easy to understand, right? The second reason. I think everybody understood. <coughs> you want to understand the sweetness. And how can you do it? As we said, you cannot kiss yourself. You, <laughs> you don't eat your own. I mean, so you have to take the outside position to be the, that you are the object, you have to take the position of the object. Okay, so uh, there's another reason, but we have another day tomorrow, so we'll continue with that. And we'll have another verse. <coughs> Uh, третата, но имаме още един ден. И това е утре. 
Okay, any comments or questions about the first two reasons? Well, this part explains the reasons for Lord Chaitanya's coming. Now this is a long chapter and it will explain um, how Krishna thinks. Because how, why does he come to this point of coming as Lord Chaitanya? <coughs> So in the next verse, uh, 17, Krishna does, Prabhupada put, puts in parentheses what Krishna thought. It's like explaining how he f thinks and then why come, he comes to the conclusion of coming as Lord Chaitanya. And before explaining that, he'll explain why Krishna came as Krishna to Vrindavan to show his pastimes. So the idea is that um, devotional service according to rules and regulations is basically seen in Vaikuntha. And in that verse 17, therefore, he, he, the thinking is that the whole universe is filled with the conception of my majesty, which is, we know, generally people understand God is great and we are very small and our relationship is to be very obedient and respectful and have awe and reverence. <coughs> He is seen as the father. Right? And you are the child. <laughs> and that means, you know, you go like this and offer prayers. Basically, that's the relationship. So, and he said, but, but love, there's a kind of love in that. Weakened, it's weakened by the sense of majesty. Majesty doesn't really satisfy. No. There's a distance. Therefore, he says then in 18, if one regards me as the Supreme Lord, 
Ishwara and himself as a subordinate, I do not become subservient to this love, nor can it control me. И затова в 18-ти стих се, се продължава. Ако тази личност не почита като върховния Бог и себе си мисли за починен, аз не ставам а, слуга, не, не мога да бъда починен от такава любов. Нито също тази любов може да ме контролира. Но това не е Вриндаван, това е Вайкунта. В Вриндаван е по-различно. Никой там не се отнася от Кришна като върховния Бог. Not even Krishna himself thinks of himself as the Supreme Lord. And that is all arranged by Yoga Maya. And the idea is that if everybody forgets he is the Supreme, then you can have very intimate relationships. Yes, and these relationships are simply based on love, not on this awe and reverence because I know I have to take this position because he's the supreme. There's some kind of fear involved. Някакво настроение на починение и страхопочитание, защото винаги там има малко страх, който е въвлечен в този вид, тази вид любов. Кришна това го харесва повече. So we will continue tomorrow. If you have more questions, we can do this tomorrow. Shila Pao Paraki Jai, Rantara Sri Chaitanya Chai Tamri Chaki Jai, Shri Chaitanya Chai Gaura Bhakta Vrindaki Jai.